To generate PDFs in Laravel, I recommend the package Laravel DOM PDF. This will take any blade view file and generate it as a PDF file that could either be directly viewed in the browser or downloaded. To use this package, the first thing you want to do is to set up a regular blade view that produces the content you want to see in your PDF. For this example, I'm going to be creating a very simple invoice. And let me show you what I've got so far. Switching over to my code, here's my routes file. I have a invoice controller that has a generate method and we're invoking it via the route forward slash invoice. Looking at the controller, here's the generate method. I just came up with some sample data and then I pass it to a view I created called invoice. Here's the view itself. It's just a blade file. I've got a little bit of CSS pulled into this file. And then here's the output of the content using the data that I passed over to the view. So building on this, what we want to do is update our controller method so that instead of just returning this as a regular view, it needs to return it as a PDF. To do that, let's go over to command line and pull in the Laravel DOM PDF package. And with that installed, coming back to the controller, I'm going to add a use statement up top so that the PDF class within that package is accessible. And then down beneath our data, we'll put it to use. So I'll create a variable called PDF. And then from the PDF class, we're going to invoke a method called load view. And we're going to pass it the name of a view file. We're going to use the same view file we did to uh, set up our preview for this PDF. And we're also going to pass it along the same data. With the PDF loaded, we now need to decide how we want to present it to the user. Option one is we could stream it directly in the browser. So I'm going to return our PDF variable. And on that, I'm going to invoke a method called stream. All right, with that in place, we no longer need to return this as a regular view. So I'm just going to comment out this last line. And let's test this in the browser. And there we go. There's our PDF with our content and our data as expected. There is an issue right now with our CSS though, and that it's not being applied. I'll show how to fix that in a moment, but I do want to show the other way we could present this PDF. Uh, instead of streaming it, we could initiate a download of the PDF. So for that, we would say return PDF and use the download method and indicate the name of the file that we want it to have. So I'll just call this invoice.pdf. All right, let's comment out our stream version and test out the download version. All right, so you can see my browser downloaded invoice.pdf, and let's open this up. All right, we see the same content there with the CSS, once again, still broken. So the reason that is happening, if we go over to our view file, we can see the path to our CSS. It's within a CSS directory. There's a file called invoice.css. Um, and we know based on how we set up our Laravel applications to load in the browser, where it's going to find that asset is actually in the public directory of this application. All right, so it's public CSS and then there's invoice. Um, but we're not really loading this in the browser. Even when we're streaming it, this is being generated on the server as a PDF. So it needs the app, uh, absolute path to that CSS file in order to work. And the easiest way we could generate the absolute path is using Laravel's public path helper. So we're just gonna wrap public path around this um, and then we'll use our blade syntax to echo that out. And let's confirm that fixes things. So coming back, we will refresh in the browser. And then let's uh, open up the newly generated PDF. And perfect, our CSS is now applying because that image is being appropriately sized. To wrap things up as a bonus tip, one thing I like to do when I'm working with PDFs is set up a preview mode I can use during development that will just load the content as a regular view, not generating the PDF. That way, if I'm working on, say, the design, I'm tweaking the content of the PDF, and I'm constantly refreshing the browser, I don't have to wait for the PDF to generate each time. Let me show you what I mean. So coming over to my controller, uh, I'm going to set this up with a query string. So the goal is I will be able to add a preview query string to the end of my URL. And when that does, it's just going to return my uh, invoice as a regular view. So I'm going to look for that query string. We'll just call it preview. All right, and if that exists, we're going to return a view. Now, if it doesn't exist, this return statement won't get executed, and it'll go on to generate the PDF and return the PDF, whether I want to stream it or download it. Um, now, as you saw a moment ago, we did change the CSS path, so it accommodates the PDF. So obviously, if I try to just load this in the browser normally as a regular view, the CSS would fail uh, at this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the CSS path dynamic depending on whether we're in preview mode or PDF mode. Uh, and the way I'm going to do this is I'm just going to append to my data the path to the CSS file. 
All right, and here in preview mode, it's simply just going to be CSS invoice.css. But outside here, if we're going to be doing it via the PDF, my path is going to come via that public path helper. And I shouldn't be using the points to operator here, it just should be an equal sign. All right, so let's go to the view and accommodate that CSS variable. And let's test this out. So I'm just going to add that preview query string. And perfect, there's our content loaded very quickly. That's going to be nice for editing purposes. You can see our CSS is working. And uh, let's just get out of preview mode and just make sure it's also still working in PDF mode. All right, so let's check out that download. Perfect. And with that, that's the fundamentals of generating a PDF using Laravel. If you want to learn more about this package, definitely check out their GitHub page. You can read the full documentation, learn about some advanced features, as well as some configurations you can make to how the package works.